To Humber College now, where the number of students who have fallen sick after a mysterious illness has now grown to about 200. Today, public health officials have an idea of what may be behind it. The outbreak hit the Humber College North Campus hard. 200 students exhibiting symptoms of the norovirus. Mostly nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Small number of them have gone to hospital. 40 students, in fact, went to the emergency room. One admitted to hospital. Almost all experienced something similar. Seems like they feel unwell for one to two days and after that are experiencing no serious health effects. The illness was initially a mystery, but school officials realized it was spreading through a campus residence, home to about a thousand students. Toronto Public Health investigated and says all signs point to the stomach bug. Norovirus can be uh, contaminate food, so it can be transmitted by food, but it's also easily transmitted from one person to another. So we're now investigating uh, what, which, which likely uh, uh, circumstance caused this cluster of illness. Exactly how the virus got onto the campus is still being looked into. Health officials will study food samples and have surveyed students to pinpoint whether they all ate at one place. We're now trying to see how it was introduced into the campus. Was it an ill food handler who contaminated some of the food? Or was it a number of people who uh, had it? Uh, maybe they got it from elsewhere and they come, came onto campus and started to spread it amongst the students. Humber is now asking students who felt ill to stay off campus for at least 48 hours, while the college shifts its focus to prevention. We've been focusing on uh, what our environmental response is and so our cleaning protocol, protocols, ensuring that they're up to uh, all of the expectations of Toronto Public Health and ensuring that all of our food service safety and all of those things are up to up to that level as well. Health officials say though stopping the spread could be difficult, especially on a busy college campus. Humber says all of the on-campus food vendors have been given updated food safety procedures as the campus too continues to investigate the source.